Hey there everybody, this video is our new trailer reaction for The Boys Season 2. It's coming, it's it's not that far away I guess now at this point. No, it's going to be coming pretty soon and it was really nice to finally get a trailer that's telling us what the story is about because we have had some trailers and teasers and stuff like that that have given us what we know about the show that it's gross that it's funny that it's crazy it's bonkers but we didn't really dive too much into what is this story going to be about so this new trailer that's dropped is given a lot more information yeah now we actually legitimately know and I am really, I'm excited about it, I'm nervous about it because I don't know how bad things are going to get, but it's just good to have, like, actual footage now that's not, look how crazy it is, look at this violence, and oh, we got a whale that's getting, like, gored out, like, it's, okay, we have actual stuff, we actually know kind of a little bit about what the story is, so we're going to break that down before... We do, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also check out the store and support our Patreon. We have links to that in the description below. We've got all sorts of different tiers and benefits over at the Patreon, so we hope you guys take a look at that. And let's dive right in now, not like the deep, but like any no. like normal, rational human being. <laughs> so yeah, so the story is going to kind of pick up from where we left off last season. Billy's going to find out that his wife is alive, and he thinks that she's being held captive by Vought. So the whole real story here is he wants to get his wife freed, and you know, she thinks she's being held captive. We don't really 100% know what's going on there. It was such a quick flash in the finale of sort of what's going on. Like, we still need to know exactly what's going on. And Billy's in the dark, and everyone else watching is in the dark a little bit. So it looks like he's going to be trying to get his wife back, free her from the clutches of Vought, and, you know, take down the Seven. Like, he wants to do it all. <laughs> And he seems to have no qualms about doing it violently. He has basically this line where Huey is sort of like, I, you know, we don't, we don't need to kill everybody. And it just seems like at this point, the he's just like, you know, whatever. He doesn't care anymore. He, Billy's just out to have a lot of revenge. And it seems like he, he might be MIA, at least in the early going. It seems like there's going to be a question as to where Butcher is. But... It doesn't seem like the time away has really, like, healed his soul and made him more about peace, love, and harmony. No, but it also was nice to sort of see that moment where the boys were like, yeah, of course we're all in with you and we're, we're going to do this with you. Which is, what, of course, what we expect. We expect the boys to be together and going on this crusade together. How happy were you with how gung ho Frenchie was in particular? I love I, Frenchie. He's my favorite. Yeah, Frenchie is your favorite. You're the leader of the Frenchie fan club with yeah, the boys. Yeah. I love him. So weird. By oh, the way. All weird. Homelander's still throwing his kid off the roof. It's one of the... Yeah, except this time, I don't remember. We, we saw in the teaser where it looked like he was throwing his kid off the roof, but we didn't actually see what happened. Now we see that his kid just falls off the roof <laughs> onto his face. Hopefully there's the so worst. Funny. Oh it's funny. It's funny, but it, this guy is so. This is this is the thing about the boys in general is that none of these people really are altogether likable. Like I don't know if there's no. more than like I don't even know if there's like two people we can sit here and be like, yeah, for sure we want to sort of pull for them. Like I kind of want to root for Starlight, but I still it seems like she's maybe going down a bad path at this point. Yeah, there was it was interesting with this trailer because Starlight was sort of sprinkled in and out with this but she had a really bigger sort of moment at the end where it looked like Homelander was going to try to get Starlight to kill Huey and then of course we saw her light up I don't think any of us believe that she's actually going to kill Huey. You never know with this show, to be honest. But, yeah. I mean, this kind of feels like maybe we're getting close to one of the, like, final showdowns. That that might be a, an episode that's later in the season where maybe she try, she turns around and tries to put it on Homelander. I mean, we, we don't know, except that I don't think she's going to try to kill Huey. No, I, I, I can't see a world that that happens, but maybe that's a part of, like, my headspace where I still 
I want to have, like, some element of, like, a happy love story between Huey and Starlight. I'm not giving up on this, though I don't think The Boys is really a show that is out to give me anything that I want in that department. It was good to also see more of the Deep in this, because in the other little teaser, he was barely in it. It was just, like, a quick flash, and now we see him. He's riding a whale. He's, like... (laughs) going up against the boys that are like speeding towards it in a boat and there's like a part of me that's i have not read the comics so i don't know where his story goes i'm just a tv show watcher so going from this i'm sort of wondering if there's because he's so displaced right now like he got kicked out of the seven it's his own doing he was feeling really down on himself and all that by the end of last season I'm kind of wondering if he's going to get into this headspace where, not that he's going to join the boys, but that if he's pissed off enough at himself and at Bot and everything that was going on there, that maybe he ends up being an ally. I wouldn't mind if they did something different with the Deep. I mean, I, I think the funny thing about the Deep as a character is... There could be this sort of attempt at a redemption arc for the Deep, but I think the Deep can't really ever be fully redeemed. So I think it's just going to be, the Deep is going to be sort of like a dog chasing his own tail for the entirety of all of this. And I, I think the Deep might be capable of good, but I think there's there's a distinction between, okay, you're capable of good and, okay, you're worthy of redemption like those are two very different things it's like homelander i don't think homelander's capable of good i think homelander's just a sociopath and that's what's kind of interesting about this show in general is there are really kind of no good guys all the superheroes are bad guys the boys are killing people all the time they're not great guys either so I just feel like this show in general is not looking for any kind of redemption arc because everybody is terrible. That is a perfect introduction to Stormfront, who we get a lot of in this trailer. And it's funny because I I, I, I kind of heard about the character before I really heard anything about the comic book origins or anything like that. So my first reaction was... This is great! It's gonna be a new hero (laughs) fighting with the Seven. Maybe Starlight's gonna have a friend. Maybe she can be a mentor. This is all gonna be great. And then I start seeing some of the comic book stuff. I'm like, oh no, this may not be great. And then I just, okay, well maybe the show's doing something very, very different. And then I see the footage of the rallies and the angry people with the signs and all of the the questionable appearance of these people that makes them look like they're very much a part of a very specific hate group. And I'm just, oh, okay, though this is, this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. Yeah, and with the amount of influence she has, I mean, they, they show her in the trailer. We've yeah. seen little sneak peeks of her with how much influence she has online and social media and how much people love her and how much people are into her and believe in her. So when she's giving these great big powerful speeches people are behind her on it where it looks like she's building sort of her own sort of super army behind the scenes also she's got regular civilians that are becoming part of this army and are buying into her crap it's i think this is the boys sort of doing their presentation of how you know, hive mind stuff can work on social media where you have someone like Stormfront who is powerful, who is influential, who presents herself as friendly that, you know, you want to believe in her. And if you sort of just like shield yourself from the rest of the world and start to get more and more of her belief, she's going to sort of start to drive you down that road. And it's probably even harder when it's like, oh, I'm getting to meet a superhero. But somebody gotta get through to these people like she's she's clearly bad news it seems at first like she and homelander aren't fully on the same page but then you have the laser me at a particular part of my body ball i was like what what is going on there yeah that's gonna be a very interesting dynamic between them because obviously homelander wants to be the leader of the group and he is the leader of the group yeah But having someone like Stormfront there, of course, there's going to be some sort of tension at the beginning of it. But it's possible with how bad she seems to be that they are really going to feed into each other. Because 
with some of the other soups that are there, they're not all bad, but they're not all good. But Homelander yeah. is just all bad. There's yeah. just nothing else going on there. And Stormfront sort of feels like the only other person that is all bad and really deeply bad. So having the two of them and being as powerful as they both are, it's going to be really crazy. And then we also have this other idea that's going on, this other story about how there's going to be sort of super terrorists going on. So I'm wondering if that whole Vought storyline of the army and the yeah. war and kind of, you know building these super terrorists to kind of make it so that you need soups in the army or that they're their own army. Like, I think that's still going to be a big play going on. If I'm being honest, like, I'm not that excited about that storyline because I just, I like super villains where you sort of know who they are. You get to sort of see them and understand them. If it's just, okay, this is super terrorist A and super terrorist B, it's just... It's just like, okay, all right, so they're just bad guys, and then we don't really get to know anything about them. So, I, for me, I hope they sort of push a little bit more away from that. Like, I want to see more of just Homelander and maybe Stormfront. I, 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 I get the impulse of it, though, because it is showing the inner politics, I guess, of Vought and how corrupt they are and... <laughs> Why you always got to have Giancarlo Esposito playing some sort of, He's like, so cor good at corrupt, it. terrible businessman? The thing I'm interested to see how the show, how they tackle this is sort of the, you know, how do you know who's a good soup and who's the terrorist soups? Like, how how are they able to control that in the eyes of the people? Because it may end up being sort of a situation where it's like, oh, all these superheroes over here are terrorists and they're yeah. they're destroying everybody and killing everybody. Well, what's to say that these people are not also going to do this? You know, where where's the control in that and who is going to be controlling it? I will say this. This is, this is the X factor of the season for me. A-Train. Where is A-Train? A-Train's not getting any love. No, he was in that trail for like a second. Yeah. I, I really want to know where he lands in all of this because I think Atrey's arc is probably one of one of my favorite arcs in the first season, really, because I think you get to learn so much about him. And, you know, he's terrible in a lot of ways, but you sort of kind of get inside his head and you know why he's like that. I I think Atrey's a great character. I'm bummed he's not being shown in all of this, but that is who I'm marking down as the big sort of interesting question mark. Yeah, he's really sort of a... A swing super because at this point the way that it ended last season he's not terrible just to be terrible he's not like you know homelander but yeah. he did get swept up in his own sort of ego and his own hype and his you know everything that happened with popclaw and things started to really change for him so he's still in a position of power but things are very different in his mind so it's gonna be interesting to sort of what line is he riding this season I'm so excited for season two. I can't wait. I know. It's, it's going to be great. I know we're not getting all the episodes at once, but it's all right. We're going to have a few right away. We'll have more once a week seemingly after that. I am so excited to talk all about it with you guys. But for now, what are you the most excited about when it comes to The Boys season two? Is it the Huey Star Wright relationship? Is it Homelander throwing kids off of homes? Like, what, what is it? Let us know in the comments and if you do like this video give us a like subscribe support us further check the links in the description to the store and to the patreon and we will see you guys here next time